This movie will walk you through the steps of using MAMP and WordPress to set up a virtual server on your computer. Before we get started, I need to let you know that I'm working on this on my home computer and I actually already have MAMP installed and already have WordPress installed. So when we go through those steps, I'm making some assumptions that you will be able to complete those two procedures on your own. At school, in room 292 at the Truex campus, MAMP and WordPress are already also installed and configured. So if you are only using the school computer and you need a little assistance, you might have to just sit through a few steps in this movie. Um, the first step, I'm assuming you are at home and you need to install MAMP. The website is MAMP.info and MAMP stands for Macintosh, Apache, MySQL or MySQL and PHP. And all of these technologies need to come together in order for you to preview your WordPress files. WordPress files need to live on a server. MAMP is your virtual local server. So the first step is to download MAMP and the button is right here. There's a, a professional version which you can pay for. It undoubtedly has many features that you could use but uh, free is good so go ahead and download and install MAMP. Once you've done that in your applications folder here we go you will then of course have a MAMP folder and inside of there are numerous directories and files none of which you should be moving around or renaming just leave everything as is so things are nice and tidy. When you launch the MAMP start icon this cute little launch window will appear. The Apache server and the MySQL server need to be running in order for everything to happen and when they're running both of these lights will be green. If they are red, go ahead and hit the button that says Start Servers. Throughout this process, I'm actually going to stop my server so I can duplicate the situation that you might be in. As you're starting and stopping these virtual servers, you will be asked to put in your administrative password. Um, only you will know what this is on your computer at home. Um, at school, you may be asked to do this as well. At school, the, the uh, name is WordPress and the password is MAMP. WordPress MAMP, all lowercase. Of course, at home, um, I have my own password. Oops, and that is not it. Okay, so this is what it looks like when the servers are stopped. We need the servers running, so I'm going to go ahead and start the servers again. Get my green lights, and I'm good to go. Another step in this process is for you to have a fresh install of WordPress. So um, we're going to be using WordPress.org and you can download the current version which is 3.2.1. Download that, find it, unzip it, and then what you need to do is move that folder that was unzipped into, so I'm back out to the finder, into my MAMP directory. It has to, it must live in this htdocs folder. So I actually have a few different installations of WordPress. All you need to do is just take that WordPress folder with all of its stuff in it from wherever it landed and drop it into the htdocs. So we'll just pretend this is it. And when you open it up you can see the numerous files that come along with WordPress. So that's fantastic. That's what we're looking for. All right, so that's in its proper spot. I'm going to go ahead and close my finder window and hop back over here to MAMP. The next thing that we need to do is set up the database. And in order to do that, I'm going to hit the button that says Open Start Page. Um, just be patient for whatever reason my start page opens up in Opera which is a program that I rarely use but um, nonetheless that will work. 
In order to set up the database, what you're looking for in this launch uh, welcome window is over on the left, My SQL, the link that says PHP My Admin. Go ahead and click on that. All you're doing is creating a name. This can be any name, maybe a name that you would recognize from a list, maybe something specific to your project, uh, maybe your own name. Once you've given it a name, hit create, and that's it. You're good to go. You can close that window or just tuck it aside. All right, back here then at the MAMP launch window, we need to go into the preferences and let MAMP know where that WordPress installation is so that we can get finally everything all set up and ready to roll. Once you have, let me just go backwards for just a second. So preferences, move over to the Apache button and hit the select button and that will allow you to navigate into your applications, into MAMP. Slow scrolling fingers today, here we go, into the MAMP folder, into the HP Docs folder, and then finally you can choose the folder of WordPress stuff that you have dropped in there earlier. Now, this may look a little confusing. You probably only have one folder in yours, and that's fine. Just remember I have a few different installations of WordPress going on. So you would choose that. You would hit Open, and that's it. We've created a database. We have installed well, not really installed, we have at least WordPress ready to go. We have MAMP configured. We know which installation of WordPress we're going to use. So we're going to end this movie at this point, and we'll pick it up in the next movie, configuring WordPress, letting your browser know where everything is, and then we can get started.